What's up everybody, XYZen here with the Binary Enchantment System. This is an extremely compact, extremely resource friendly and easy to use system which allows you to select between 0 and 15 bookshelves. First off, let's take a look under the hood so I can show you just how compact this thing really is. It uses only 17 redstone dust and 4 switches to accomplish everything. As you can see, each piece of redstone dust is strategically placed to trigger a certain number of pistons per switch. So how does it work? As many of you probably already know, you can create any number using only powers of 2. So over here we have 2 to the 0, which is 1. We have 2 to the 1, which is 2. 2 to the 2, which is 4. And 2 to the 3, which is 8. Now if you add all of those numbers up, you get 15. That's because 15 is the maximum number that you can create using 4 binary bits. And once we know all of that, it's quite easy. You just need to do a little bit of addition. So we can count up from zero, starting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we can add all of those numbers to eight to get the rest. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it really is just that easy. If we use repeaters, we can even create some really nice looking flush designs like this one. It takes a few more resources, but the design is still very straightforward. Everything you need to build the compact design is right here in this chest. If you want to build the flush design, you just need to add 12 repeaters and 6 redstone. And honestly, you could probably train your 5 year old little brother to build this thing. You just want to start one block below where your bookshelves would normally be and then go even one block further below that, place some upward facing sticky pistons all the way around in a circle. Then you want to go over the top of those with your bookshelves, just like so. Now come over here, knock out one, two, three, four, five, put down four redstone dust, an upside down half slab or a glowstone if you want to use that, or I guess you could use upside down stairs. And then you want to skip that corner block and Get rid of that entire corner side over there. Put down all your redstone dust here, skipping this block. And then just to make it look good, you can either use half slabs, stairs, or you can put this thing inside of a room to cover up that redstone there. And then you just need to come over here, go down two blocks, two blocks over one. Put down your redstone dust. Put back your blocks. Put one, two, three, four switches. Put your enchantment table down. And that's all of it ready to go. Just push all your bookshelves up to test it out. And you're ready to enchant. And the flush design is much the same. Assuming you already have your bookshelves and your sticky pistons in place, start underneath where this first switch will go. Cut all the way back to the back bookshelf over here. Then go over one more block over here, except for that last block there. Then do the same thing over here. Start right here. Go all the way around to where that very last switch will be, right there. Now we can start on the left side and go one, two, three, four, left side, one, two, three, four, left side, one, two, three, four. I think you get the idea. Then we just need to make a path for all of our redstone to connect back up to our switches, up to here. Now we can start running it all the way around there, then over here, all the way around. Now, just like before, we want to cut down two here, cut down two and one over. That's pretty important. Put down your redstone dust, and then it's just a matter of running your blocks around the outside and filling everything in. Once you have your switches and your enchantment table in place, you're 100% ready to go. Just push them up to test that it's all connected correctly, and it's time to do some enchanting. Well, that's really all there is to it. I spent a lot of time searching YouTube looking for an easier design, and everything I found was really complicated, difficult to build, hard to understand, and just generally bulky and confusing. I think this is a much simpler design that everyone can use. So, if you found it helpful, feel free to like and subscribe, but I'd actually appreciate it quite a bit more if you just stuck around, watched some more of my videos, and left me some comments. Until then, see you next time.